Yeah, and, and I'm thinking, I mean, Dr. Azar, California is taking a different approach to all of this, announcing it's dropping indoor mask mandates beginning the 15th of this month, but leaving schools out of this for now. So it's the adults can take their mask off, but, but kids should, should keep them on. Is that, is that uh, how do you feel about that, Dr. Azar? Yeah, right. I know it, it does. It does feel like the kids are bearing the burden of uh, of protecting society. Um, gosh, I, I I don't relish. I'm very happy that I'm not the one that has to make these decisions for uh, for my kids in New Jersey um, and and for for Americans at large. It, this is really difficult. I, I think the one the one concern that I would have about um, you know a blanket no mask and again. This does not mean you don't you don't have to mask. Our school district in New Jersey may very well decide to keep my kids masked, and if that's the case, that's the case. I think what's missing here is um, is a little bit better guidance from CDC on what to do about exposure. I know there's been a lot of pushback from uh, you know parents and mostly parents actually who say, listen, the guidance right now, um, if your child is exposed. If they're masked, there's a test to stay policy. Well, what happens now if no one is masked? Um, does that mean that everyone now needs to do, a, if they're, you know, if they're um, vaccinated, do they do a quarantine? Do they not need to quarantine? I think we need to have that guidance um, yeah. before before lifting all of the mask mandates because I think it's going to feel a little bit chaotic. Um, and if our number one goal is to keep our kids in school, then I think that that more than anything needs to drive any particular policy change and to the degree that it can be it needs to be as evidence-based as possible i know i'm stating the obvious um and yeah. again i'm happy i'm not but, the one who's ultimately making the decisions because it is not going to be easy dr mcbride is it a situation according i mean your thoughts is it that we will never see the end of coronavirus we're just going to have to well, deal coronavirus with is here forward? to stay coronavirus is here to stay we don't want it to be it continues to take lives and, 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 and cause unnecessary suffering. Um, but it is here to say that's the reality. So what we need to do is mitigate the risks by getting vaccinated, by staying home if we're sick, getting tested if we're sick. But I want to just ask um, to, 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 talk, to talk about what Dr. Azar just said. You know, she said, I don't envy people who may have to make these decisions. I would say, if not doctors making these or helping public policy decision makers make these decisions, who? We are so politicized. We are so polarized. You know, I put together with 15 other doctors this urgency of normal toolkit to help put into the hands of policymakers facts and information and a framework to make complex decisions. We are parents. We are physicians. We are scientists. We have no political ideology or, 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 or ties. We're not backed by any financial institution. We are purely citizens, scientists, and doctors trying to make sense of a complex situation take politics away, put facts in the driver's seat to help our own kids. If doctors don't lead, who will?